Your shield is made up of energy, using your imagination and your intention. And it really doesn't matter what picture you have in your mind as long as you believe it works. That's the really, really important part, knowing that whatever you're using works for you. If I decide I want to use giant marshmallows as an energy shield around me because I know they're thick and soft and would bounce unwanted energy off of me, but someone makes fun of me for doing so, I might have second thoughts and might begin to doubt myself. What kind of energy would I be putting out if I wasn't sure what I was doing was working? I would probably have doubt and the universe would feel that and respond to that and give me more reasons to doubt. So that probably wouldn't work so well, now would it? Having confidence in what you're doing is important in all parts of magic and all energy work. Just because you might be a beginner doesn't mean that you can't do a thing well. When you first learned to say your ABCs, you probably made mistakes. When you first started dressing yourself, you probably made some strange choices. Okay? Maybe uh, now that you're older, when you first started, cook you started cooking for yourself. Maybe you've learned the hard way not to leave something on the stove too long. The point is that you've learned from your mistakes and the choices you've made. And that means that you've learned something new and learned how to adjust or to make different choices. Now, I live in Florida, and my job used to be digging ditches for a living as an, as an electrician. Twice a year, we have insects called love bugs that swarm all over the place. For some strange reason, they love to crawl in your ears and your eyes and your nose. <laughs> okay. And let me tell you, it's no fun at all. They won't hurt you, but I don't happen to like bugs crawling in my ears and eyes and nose and all over my face. So I use a shield of elemental air, which looked like a bubble of yellow, because yellow is one of the colors we think of when we think of the element of air, to protect myself from those darn love bugs. Okay. So, and it worked. Well, of course it did. Okay. <laughs> I knew it would. And I still sometimes use a yellow shield of air to protect me when I'm outside. I may not dig ditches anymore, but there are still lots and lots of bugs in Florida, uh, especially mosquitoes. Sometimes when I get uh, too close to a bee or a wasp by accident, I do the same thing. And I use the element of air made with my imagination and my intention to gently push the bee from me and on its way to someplace else. So. How do you make a shield to protect yourself from the thoughts and feelings of the people around you? Well, do you remember the last time when we did some energy work and pulled energy up from the earth? Remember that? Okay. We, spent, we sent out light streams or tentacles of lights like roots into the ground, very much like a tree spreads out its roots. Okay. But first, we centered. We found that special place inside of us that feels like it's our awareness. That means the place that's in, inside of us that feels like where our thoughts and our feelings come from. It might be inside your heart or your head or somewhere else. So do that now. Okay, think about that place inside of you where you feel most alive. Then place both of your hands on the center of your chest. Okay. It might feel or look like a light that's inside of you or a spark or just a blob. It might not look like anything at all. It might just be a feeling. Okay. Now move that feeling or light wherever it is, okay, you found it, to the center of your chest using your thoughts, just your imagination and your intention. Last time we used our arms to help us do the work by doing this. Okay. This time we're just going to put our hands in the middle of our chest and press down a little bit. Not too hard, not too soft, and bring your awareness to that place. I'm sure you can do it. Okay. And if not, just keep going and follow along so you'll have an idea of, of what to practice so you can do it the next time. So, okay, with your awareness in the center of your chest, you use your imagination to send out roots of light from your center down through your body and through your feet to connect with the earth and all of its incredible energy. Pause for a moment to feel the energy through your roots and suck it up and bring it back inside of you. Now, before you go any further, you have to decide what you're going to use as a shield. Are you going to use marshmallows? Maybe. Or maybe you'll imagine an iron curtain of metal shields all the way around you. Maybe bricks or sticks or pillows. 
Okay, how about just light or a color? What is good enough for you? What feels right for you? What do you want or need to use to feel safe and protected? And what are you protecting yourself from? That's what you need to start with. What is your intention? Do you know? What do you want to feel protected from? Putting on mosquito repellent to protect yourself from getting run over probably isn't going to work. Using window screens to protect yourself from rain probably isn't going to work real well either. On the other hand, carrying around a heavy metal shield okay, to protect yourself from someone that's going to hit you with a bat probably will get too heavy in no time flat and will end up not helping you at all. So, remember, in this exercise we want to protect ourselves from the sad, mad, and unhappy thoughts and feelings of other people so we don't catch their energy and feel those things too. So it means we're back to energy, right? And all those thoughts and feelings are energy. So you might want to simply think about using a force field <laughs> of energy to protect yourself from feeling all of those thoughts and feelings that you don't want to. And why not? Have you ever used paint of any kind? How about finger paint, acrylic, paint by number, any of those things? Each and every one of them is pretty cool all by itself, okay? And of course, we often mix some of those colors together to make other pretty cool colors. But if we dump all the colors in together, it ends up being a mess. So, if the energy that each person puts off, every person puts off, with their thoughts and feelings was a color that you could see, you probably see a lot of very interesting colors there too. But again, if you mix all those colors together, you'd probably end up with quite a mess. So we're going to use our imaginations to create a shield that helps us to protect, uh, to helps us to keep energy away from us. A shield that helps protect us against the mess a bunch of people all together in one place put out. Again, let's say it's a grocery store. There's usually quite a few people there, all at the same time, and they aren't always so, so very happy to be there. Oh, now some of them are, undoubtedly, but, um, and I'd love to think that everyone is happy all the time, but today we're talking about shielding. So we're going to think of dozens of people together in one store, and we're going to imagine creating and using an energy shield so we can keep the mess of unhappy feelings and thoughts away from us. That way, no matter how many unhappy, unhappy people there are around you, you can keep feeling happy. And who knows? Just maybe by staying calm and happy yourself, you might be able to help others feel better too. Because you're putting off good energy, right? Okay, so let's try this again. Find that special place of feeling that is your awareness, okay? Or the special part of you that feels most like who you are. Bring it to the center of your chest. Press down on the center of your chest and simply imagine it coming here, okay? Now use your imagination to push it down through your body and into the ground. Imagine your awareness soaking up the energy all around you and suck it up into your body. Fill your whole body with the happy, healthy, wonderful, life-giving energy that fills our living planet, okay? Breathe in deeply. That's it. You've got it, okay? So now... Imagine an invisible bubble all the way around you. Imagine it, okay? Not made of water and soap, this bubble, but one made of energy. If you want to think of it as a special color, that's okay too. Or it can just be a clear bubble, whatever you like. Just make sure that it goes all the way around you, all the way past the top of your head and under your feet, and around your back too, okay? So all the way around you, not too close and not too far. You can do that, can't you? Sure you can. Now, you're just standing inside of an imaginary bubble. Now push the energy out of your body from the center of your chest. Whoosh. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter if you push it forward and let the energy fill the space of the bubble a little at a time or whoosh all at once. Maybe you'll color in the space like a coloring book a little bit at a time or maybe you'll fill it up like pouring water into a glass. Maybe you'll start from the top and go down, or maybe you'll start from the bottom and go up. You can choose to fill in your bubble shield with any color you like and in any way you like. Maybe you'll imagine it glowing, woom, 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 pulsing maybe even. Maybe you'll fill it with swirling colors. It doesn't matter, as long as it feels good 
to you. Not only are you blocking out the icky stuff from getting to you, but you're also keeping the good feelings inside the bubble so you feel confident and happy. Take a deep breath and you're ready. Now you can go into that store and feel good. One thing you need to remember is that your, your shield is made of energy and that means you have to think about it from time to time in order to keep it in place. An energy shield isn't like any other shield you see. You won't forget you're carrying a metal or wooden shield because it'll probably be strapped to your arm or your back and you can feel the weight of it. You don't have to think about wearing your sunglasses until you go inside or it gets dark out. You don't have to think of a window screen once it's in place unless it gets a hole in it. An energy barrier or shield is more like mosquito repellent because it does wear off. I would suggest you try making an energy, an energy shield several times at home or someplace where you feel safe and are not around a lot of people so you'll be ready when it comes time to put one up when there are a lot of people around. And do remember to ground. That means getting rid of the excess energy once you finish with your shield. You may not have a lot of uh, extra energy when you're using a shield when you're done with it, but it's always a good idea to ground after doing any kind of energy work. That's all for energy today, but we'll talk more about shields in a future episode of the Friends of Rupert Show.